The latest now on that deadly plane crash in Akron that killed nine people. Look at the surveillance video obtained by Fox 8 in Cleveland. It shows the moment the Hawker twin engine jet crashed into an Akron apartment complex. We just learned the black boxes on the plane have been recovered and crews will start removing the plane tomorrow. The National Transportation Safety Board is now handling the case. Investigators say the plane gave no emergency mayday calls before that crash. I saw it from a distance. It looked like a bomb went off, a big bomb. Huge inferno, lots of smoke. More than smoke. Investigators say seven victims worked for the Florida real estate company Peb Enterprises in Boca Raton. Two others were the pilot and co-pilot who lost their lives, but nobody on the ground was hurt. Twelve families, however, lost their homes. The Red Cross tonight is helping them as much as possible. Well, that plane left Wright Brothers Airport in Miami Township about a half hour before it crashed. We still don't know what caused that crash, but there's a real possibility it could have run into trouble over the Miami Valley. Tonight, Rhonda Moore investigates how prepared local emergency crews are for crashes here. April 1st, 2010, the last time a plane crashed at Wright Brothers Airport. A father and daughter died when their single engine plane crashed just after takeoff. The aircraft crashed at the end of the southern end of the runway here just in Warren County and the aircraft uh, basically exploded on impact. Clear Creek Township's fire department responded. Ourselves and the Miami Valley Fire District responded to that um, incident and you know, extinguished the fire. Simpson says there's been several accidents at this airport over the years. There was an, a, uh, an aircraft that landed on its top. The aircraft that landed out by the interstate a year or so ago. We had one many years ago um, in the area where the Dorothy Lane Market is up there before that was developed. When or if there is an accident here at Wright Brothers Airport, there is a predetermined plan in place to handle it. Depending on the actual incident itself, the size of the aircraft involved, the, the type of situation involved, you know, that, that can be escalated. Area fire departments work together under a mutual aid agreement. You know, you start with the, the stuff that's closest to where the incident is, and then you'll gradually you know, bring more resources in from further away, if need be, depending on the severity and the size of the incident. Plus, they train for such events. Some say living close to the airport can be unnerving. I think about it a lot. Uh, look, I see a lot of planes in the air, uh, and I look up as they're flying over my head and my house and my kids. When we lived on Silver Lake Drive, which is right off of Yankee Street, the, the air traffic from this airport went over us every day. Simpson says plane crashes aren't frequent. Still, it's always a concern. It's something that we, you have to be aware of and you have to be prepared for. Rhonda Moore, Fox 45 News on ABC. And that plane crash in 2010 killed UD volleyball player Casey Hosfeld and her father Tom.